All right, what's going on, guys? So this past weekend was the Fortnite World Cup Finals, where they gave out a total of a $30 million prize pool, which is just insane to me. The winner of the whole thing was actually a 16-year-old kid who ended up winning three million dollars you can see some of the prize breakdown here it's just like life-changing amounts of money you don't even have to win to get crazy amounts of money i think the minimum you got just for making it there was fifty thousand dollars even if you got last place like i'll take last place for 50k man that's crazy but i couldn't imagine actually like winning three million dollars at 16 years old i would not know how to act man i would be going crazy so hopefully he has some good people around him to guide him in the right direction but what happens when you start talking about three million dollar winners for a video game tournament is that it catches the attention of the mainstream media people that really don't follow video games very closely don't really know what they're talking about you know it brings in all the boomers all those old men they're like oh kids these days disgust me you know how could you spend 12 hours a day in front of a screen oh back in my day we used to play outside wait what's that oh you, you won three million dollars huh what's this game called again Fortnite? huh let, let me check this out no i don't think so old man us gamers have been the most oppressed group of people in the world for years and now that it's finally our time to prosper you trying to get in on the action i don't think so you better get your wrinkly ass out of here man you got a bingo game to play or something man you don't you don't need to be worrying about all that so the reason that I bring that up is because now because of this huge event all of these major mainstream media organizations are trying to write articles about it you know because it's obviously one of the biggest things out right now they're trying to capitalize on the situation even though they don't really know what they're talking about but they like to pretend that they do so because of that it leaves us with articles like this one not one of the Fortnite world cups 100 finalists was a woman why the esports industry must attract female pro players to avoid replicating the sexism that blights other sports by Keith Stewart man this guy really just fits the part doesn't he like he just looks like someone that would write an article like this so as the title stated there was no female representation at the World Cup wow you know what honestly I, I guess I kind of overlooked that and now that I'm thinking about it that's pretty messed up right I think Epic Games might be sexist against women I I'm honestly very disappointed in them oh wait hold on breaking news this just in these players weren't just randomly chosen off of a list they actually had to qualify based off of their skill to get in wow that's so crazy man I guess you could say they earned the right to be there and I guess that also means that no girls were good enough to qualify wow it turns out there's a perfectly reasonable explanation who would have thought man but I guess I do have to give the guy a little bit of credit because he does at least acknowledge this fact in his article the easy answer is because no women qualified. The heats were entirely open and held online over 10 weeks. More than 40 million players competed with no restrictions on age or gender. But the pro gaming scene likes to present itself as a meritocracy where pure talent is all that matters. So right there, that's where the article should have ended. You asked the question, why was there no females at the World Cup? you answered your own question right there simple as that instead he continues on with this this may be true in terms of the abstract qualifying rules but the real issue goes deeper and it's about why women are underrepresented across the esports spectrum see you were doing good at first man you know you were using facts and logic to explain the situation then i don't know what happened man you did a complete 180 so basically the rest of his article goes on to explain that women need more representation in esports 
esports, but us men are holding them back because we've created such a toxic environment for them that it prevents them from succeeding due to things like trash talk. And you can't really use trash talk as an argument because everyone in esports, you know, man or woman or whatever other gender, deals with the exact same toxic behavior. In fact, I'd say the worst, most toxic encounters I've ever had gaming online is always between me and another dude. Like, the shit that used to get said in a prime MW2 Xbox lobby, like, that's some stuff you would never hear repeated anywhere else. You know what I mean? Nobody would ever say that. But once you hit up that Modern Warfare 2 lobby, man, it's open season, man. I remember I was like 14 years old. I was saying whatever I wanted, man. It didn't matter who was in the lobby. Sometimes they don't even need to be talking you know i'd just be firing off on the whole lobby it don't matter you know i'd just be roasting everyone anything i can find their gamer tag you know whatever they're doing in the game like it don't matter what it is man i'm coming at everyone and that's just how it is man you know gaming sometimes when you're online can be a pretty toxic place and that's for everyone so i don't really see the point in specifically singling out that behavior towards women when everyone deals with the same thing and also speaking of that what was the point in you know singling out the female demographic specifically because out of the 100 players that qualified there was also nobody there over the age of 30 how come we didn't bring up age is the toxic esports environment created by men holding back old people from competing as well i mean the majority of players at this event were like 16 year old boys and i know this is going to sound really crazy okay everybody just stay with me for a second all right don't get too upset but it's almost as if different Different groups of people are good at different things like wow that is just mind-blowing right there you know what that makes too much sense you know there's no way that could be right like I'm trying to be offended over here and you're using logic like we can't have that listen this is all it comes down to right this is esports okay this is a competition it's about your skill it's not about equality you know it doesn't mean that girls can't have success in gaming but you can't compare gaming to esports I mean look at twitch girls are killing it on Twitch, right? You would never say, oh, you know, men are holding girls back from succeeding on Twitch. I mean, just take a look around, right? They're doing great. Why is the reason for that? Well, they don't have to be amazing at the game. They don't have to be one of the best 100 players in the world to succeed at gaming on Twitch. It's not an insult, but generally, I would say that guys are better than girls at video games. I don't know why that has to be a negative thing and people have to take that and get offended by it. That's just the facts. You know, everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses. Is like I bet if we were to do a twerking World Cup I bet you that all the hundred finalists would all be females you know and I bet I wouldn't see any articles from you talking about the lack of male representation at the twerking World Cup you know it's not a hard concept man it's 2019 all right it's not 1957 girls have all the opportunity in the world to make it in gaming nobody's holding them back but if they don't have the skill to go pro, then they don't have the skill to go pro, especially with a game like Fortnite. It's a free battle royale game, so it's a solo esport. I mean, obviously they have duos, they have teams as well, but you do have the option to compete solo, so no team required. So you don't even have the option of saying that like, oh, men are, are keeping you out by not wanting you on their team, even though you think you have the skill to make it, right? So I'm sure there was plenty of girls that tried to qualify for the Fortnite World Cup. I think we can all agree on that, right? Girls play Fortnite. I'm sure they tried to qualify. They had the same opportunity as everyone else. They just didn't qualify, man. Simple as that. That's just life, man. You're not going to be the best in the world at everything you do. You know, you should find what you're actually good at and stick to that. I don't get why it has to be such a negative, oh, I'm offended by this. We need equality. Like, no, we don't need equality. This is a competition. It's about skill. The best people get in. You know, we don't need to be putting people in that don't deserve to be there if you're not good enough then you're not going to be there simple as that but anyways man that's pretty much it people just don't want to take responsibility 
for themselves, right? They can't admit that maybe they just weren't good enough. Like, I'm not mad that I wasn't at the Fortnite World Cup. I'm not good enough to qualify, so I wasn't there. Like, that's it. I'm not over here crying about it, man. It's really not that big of a deal. We don't have to sugarcoat everything for these little snowflakes, man. Sometimes you gotta just let people know that they aren't very good at something, and that's all right, man. You know, just, just try something else. You might be better. But anyways, man, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out. Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right